This demo is of the Eclipse plugin provided by Digital.ai Continuous Testing. We're going to start by going to the marketplace to download and install the plugin. Simply search for Appium, it's the only plugin you should see, and since I already have the plugin installed on my machine, all I'm going to do is connect to the cloud. I can connect to any cloud I would like, be it public or private, then all I need to do is provide my credentials. In this case, I'm connecting to a private cloud and you can see that we are in. Now that we're in, on the upper right hand side of the screen we can see the mobile perspective that will allow us to see all the different components of the plugin. Next, we will connect to a device. While I'm connecting, I will create a new Java project where I can demonstrate the capabilities. I'm going to turn it into a mobile project, which is something that comes included in our plugin as well. I will make it an Appium TestNG project, and as you can see, it made me a whole project with an example structure. I can control the device fully using my mouse and keyboard from within Eclipse. Next, we will take an application and install it on the device. The applications are located in the cloud and you can install, launch, and uninstall all applications. If we want to create tests using the dump, I can fetch the dump here. It will create the entire page, hierarchy, properties, and on-screen elements. We can even create a repository of elements and properties to be used later. Let's start a recording. I have a device with capabilities generator, so let's start with that. We will choose iOS since it is an iOS device and a native application. I'll choose the application I want to test against and check install if I want to install the app. It is installing and launching the application, so now we can start recording. I'm going to create a simple login and logout scenario on the app, so first I need to add my credentials. Then we click on login and log out. As we can see on the left, a code has been generated. We're sending keys for specific elements and we can see the identifier properties of each element, and the text that is being sent to each command. We can see all of the capabilities that have been generated, and I can edit whatever I need to. In this case, I'm going to edit the test name. I can also export the code into different languages and environments. In this case, I'm going to export my test in Java and Appium 6, and I'm going to create a new class for this test. Let's add a debug in here and we will run it in debug mode. This will allow me to investigate my test and make sure that everything is working properly. As soon as it gets to the last line, it will stop and I will be able to do whatever I want on the device. I can fetch the dump or click on different elements. Then when I resume the test, it should pick up from the same place it left off. This is a unique capability that is important to show you in this demo. The execution has stopped and we can see that it is stopped on the green highlighted line. I can interact with the device. Right now I'm navigating around the application. I can resume the test or maybe continue and fetch the dump, see the dump in its current state or see the elements. Then we can resume and as you can see it will complete and then tear down the tests. That is the overview of the Eclipse plugin by Digital.ai Continuous Testing. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.